All right, here we go, guys. We got ourselves the Nintendo Direct September 4th, 2019. So we, this is the word we're going to be seeing today for this to face Nintendo Direct. Oh boy, a game I don't really care. <laughs> oh, Overwatch has come to Switch, okay. We're having Overwatch on Switch. Fantastic. Overwatch on Switch. Heroes never die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am with you. EMP activated. Oh wait, why is the close captions on? I didn't want I didn't want from that on. Okay, wait, is this gonna like make yeah. Just like make an entity. October fifteenth. About time, Nintendo. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled right. for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please... Okay, well, I don't really expect too much. I mean, they're probably going to have Banjo's release date revealed for this Direct. Then maybe some sort of teaser in the next... It's the next fighter. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 now. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, two I might suites. get Luigi's Mansion 3 and stream it. I mean, a pyramid inside a or hotel? Or do a Let's Play. I'm kind of like, kind of phase out Let's Plays now. Traditional Let's Plays. I'm, I'm more Harsh favoring sense. just streaming the games. And booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant, you get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out. Shark ghosts or well, shark ghosts? Speaking of amenities, Scream Park up to this all-new attraction, Scream Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Oh, eight players. With one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. So you just gotta take out as many ghosts. Piloting floaties with the Poltergeist G00. Oh, darn it. Coins by piloting floaties with. Hey. Okay, sorry. Luigi needs a break sometimes. Yeah, of course it's bros. Opens its doors on October 31st. October 31st. For Halloween. I mean, hold on. I mean, like. And collectively, you and your team. All right. So yeah, we got ourselves the. That's right. Get your weapons. Get your gear. And okay, so ready. we got four-player battle mode. Await. Or some, oh, four-player four four co-op. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. Well, what kind of shield is that? Victory is to know your Time be... Work as a well, it's like RPG, kind of. Play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Kind <laughs> switch light. Or even play online. That's an online thing. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each nightmare. Yes, that Super nightmare launch launches later today. And remember, it's free to start too. This long-awaited, recently Charles of Mana RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which. Okay, so we already have, uh, you know. Follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to the. You see the look at look at her chest. You see that? Will not be forgotten. They're actually exposed like that. They'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's Light appearance. Light darkness. And Kingdom Hearts. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. 
find oh my god, what in the world? Is what happened to the Wait, when did it, when, when did it out come out? April 14th, the okay. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up... The return of the Oberdin. Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. I mean, you don't miss. Turn it down to like 7, 720. Maybe it's like too much of 1080. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. A missing ship rely heavily on the, from the Dutch East India Or no, the East India Company. Is it British or Dutch? Pocket watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. Oh my god, it's Ghost Trick. Exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Observe the it's actually a ghost trick because you know, look, witness the last few minutes of, until a person that dies. It's literally a ghost trick. Never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? They kind of want to like figure out how they died and all. Is that what? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Okay, what do we got next? There's a small town uh, out there with a big secret. Small town, big secret, huh? Little town here, but game freak! Town. <laughs> that is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town, and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. The base one this game is actually better than, po the, than the Pokemon game. One boy named Ax better than Pokemon Sword Shield. The, the base one is better than Pokemon Sword Shield. The only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. This game actually is more Take better than the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Sword Shield. It's kind of sad that Game Freak is better off without doing... Seems better off on a game they set on a non-Pokemon game than a regular set actual Pokemon game. game. And... Almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Oh, Toby Fox! Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. You can pre-purchase and pre Wow, the game Toby later. Fox is the one who made the music in this game? Lit. Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, here we go, Banjo. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3. Alright, when is it? Release date is. And um. And the release date is. To today. today! Yeah. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use. Today. Oh, we got a Sakurai video showcasing him. As a oh snap! Treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Oh snap! Maybe I'll react to the, to the video. I don't know. Oh, so Banjo comes out today. Oh, wait, are we gonna see the next fighter? Next fighter! Alright, here we go, guys. Next fighter. Okay, we're going back in the line. Game and what? Oh, Super Nintendo. What? Oh, yeah. Neo, okay, Neo Geo. Yeah, it was a, it was kind of leaked. SNK character was gonna be in. What the world is this? Oh, great! It's Ken. I, oh. Never mind. Oh, this is like teasing us like who's gonna get the invite. <laughs> Lol, not the girl. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't know this. Oh, who is actually gonna get the letter though? Oh! Okay, he got it. Hey, cover! 
Terry. Okay, so we have Terry from an SNK from that Neo Geo game. Fatal Fury. Oh, so he's the fourth character. Coming in November. Okay. So the number four is Terry. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. Can there really be only one left? Oh, we're gonna have a second pack! Pack two! We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We're having Outside pack number two. Fighters included in the Fighters Pass. We can confirm that other new fighters... We're gonna have season two. The battle isn't over yet. So we're going to have to buy a second Fighter's Pass, is that what's going to happen? So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Well, better, well you better, have, we better get Sora in, in somehow. It's about time to okay, get Link's Awakening. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll need some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers yeah, you can make, on your adventure you can create your own, dungeons. your own dungeons, add in plus effects that alter chambers, and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before so you know September it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo Well, you know, some people are going to be raiding Area 51 day. that day, so, you know... You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Hero, Dark Fist Weapon. Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly Hero. that. Hero. Uh. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel That's pretty cool, the HD and 2D. Worlds, and experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, Free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Free DLC. Consumable items and more equipment that can change. Oh the wow! You can make them look like the other heroes. An RPG like giant draws eight. near. Dragon Quest XI S: Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. <laughs> Until then, you can prepare for your oh, adventure a free demo with a now. demo on Nintendo eShop. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo. Oh, <laughs> Tokyo Fire Mirage. Emblem Fire Emblem Encore. Paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are um. trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Oh. Together, you'll wage deep battles, that. ending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Oh, what? Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Tiki. Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Okay, so maybe I might just um. Welcome back to where nothing is. Regarding but regarding um. Boston, 2019. It all Regarding Banjo, I might just do a, agent I might do a little like, I might do a stream of him or something. Killer case. She also opens so, a door to the unknown, a door that also takes us back to New Orleans. Oh yeah. I don't probably, I don't know if I'm gonna actually.
do main him though. Story follows an FBI agent. But we'll see. I mean, I wasn't. I, I didn't think I was gonna main hero, but between past and present will take Aaliyah and York. You know, I was. I kind of did. But what lies? I was kind of like doing really good with them at all. Or madness. Deadly Premonition 2: A Blessing in Disguise boggles and beguiles a Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition. Okay, so we got Dark Moon's Origins later coming today. out later today. Yeah. Divinity Original Sin Divinity. Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Whoever you want to be. Collapse of part of the four. <laughs> okay, this is like something. From Bethesda. Bethesda message, oh Anything great. Fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda, Bethesda lol. Of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch okay, yeah. well, this year. More paid so actors? Many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Oh, well, Doom 64. This year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games. Doom 64. Doom yep. 64. Doom 64. For the first time about to have like terrible online and you know Doom terrible. Will be about to be like super on laggy, Nintendo terrible online. Your the and you know. Levels. Oh, you need to make or a Bethesda account to play this game in the first the place. First-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. I can't wait, guys. I just can't wait to have to make a Bethesda account so it would waste 20 minutes of my life trying to play the game, trying to even start the game. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, uh, Rogue, Company. Rogue Company is a rumor at best. But its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, Weapons, skins, <laughs> in-game events, and more. When Rogue that her face looks so Nintendo weird Switch there. You saw that? It's like her face is like motionless. How's it going? That is so weird. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG All oh, great. Sword and, Sword and Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please let's see how. Look. Let's see if they still have like choppy animations and all. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the gallery. Oh, not 60 FPS, lame. Already lame. People and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout the Pokemon. Today, we'll cover four features you can look for. Four. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but <laughs> Top? a wide variety, <laughs> you say including that? outerwear and gloves. You really said tops and bottoms. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part Wait, did I see one that was look like Junko? Hold on. Wait, Pokemon I thought I saw one that looked like Junko. 
During your journey from the Opa, the region, like she had like the, the pink pigtails and like some sort of skirt, like Junko. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon, and as you get to know, you can them, play with your Pokemon. Battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Oh, Feel you can visit camps and they have Pokemon their Pokemon. And hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. They're gonna have. This is gonna be like. Third, curry on rice. Curry. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out, and what. So you can basically create your own curry. Depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To mess wow, the curry, heart curry decks? Huh? What's that Pokemon? Wow, curry. They removed the national decks and with this? We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Hotels and restaurants. Its Pol Pol Poltegeist. Tea, okay. Complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokémon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokémon called <laughs> Cranor. What kind of, what kind of bird is that? This water-type Pokémon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. That is actually, like, so, like... That is actually back, cursed. That is a cursed nice Pokémon. Along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability. Okay, so basically you can Cold catch missiles. fish and shoot its catch at a Pokemon if, as a counterattack. And that's it? Okay, yeah. Pokemon Sword Shield still looks bad. <laughs> still no national decks. No national well, decks. They replaced the curry there are decks. Still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. Yeah. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Yeah, but like, and now, what's next? More we're NES games? In an additional library of games. Here's your it's oh, called Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo oh. Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play Super Mario Kart, Curry Dream Course. Oh, Mario World 2. I could play that. I, I, li I like Mario World 2. Link to the Past, maybe Mario World. Yeah. May not expect. Star Fox, Stunt Race. Which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Wait, oh, that's Go Super Ghosts and Goblins? Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Here I think it's the called. First games we plan to release. Oh my god. All 20 of the games you see on screen yeah, I'm gonna get Super Mario. I'm probably gonna like play Super Mario World and Super Mario World 2. I like course, those. We will eventually add more to the lineup. Maybe I might just stream them, I don't know. This offer I really like those two games. To Nintendo Switch online members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh. You noticed this, did you? Oh, we got a special SNES controller. The original feel of these games. We will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch yep, a special Online exclusive S controller. Can I use my old? Can I use my actual? It, you can use a USB cable. Can we use our actual like SNES controllers, controllers for this, please? This Super NES style controller no, will fine. be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Thirty bucks just for something I already have. No thanks. I mean, I have a Pro Controller, so it'll. Because it's, those, it's pro and controller, you controller, you know? A pro controller. Tetris 99 survival mode, I guess, for the last. Maybe it's like as long as you can. The large scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. 
You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Max. Tetris Max on Invictus. Can you survive against the best of the best? So I guess it's like for super players. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By daily missions. missions. You can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Right, custom that, skins. The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two player share battles, two players a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two player game against each other and the CPU. And oh, get together with snap. friends to battle. We can have like two people against 97 others. Local arena mode. Well, I mean, they'll be against each other too, so it'll be two versus it'll be like one versus 98, but like two players on the same console. Game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12 month individual. So it's gonna be releasing. Oh, it's gonna be a physical game as well. All right. Mario and Sonic. Oh, great! So Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are. Oh boy, this is the series that fell off after Soshi. Karate. I mean, it fell off with Soshi, actually. So, like, the series fell off, to be honest, once it gets Soshi. Like, the games after so the games after London 2012 have not been good, like, nearly as good as the first three. Like, the first three games were really good, but the these latest ones are are not good. These ten retro style events, each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing. Yeah, I have a special 2D mode, 2D sprite mode. New mini games. Unlockable characters and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. 1964 Mario, Olympics. The Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X, Damon X Machina. Machina. Here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a feel. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. Oh, sh okay. So, gather your friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action. September, September okay, so uh, in a week. Star Wars. Star Wars. So fun, okay, you have Star Wars. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready. Rogue Jedi Luke Skywalker. Hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. Is Jedi Knight 2. Switch, September 24. 20 days. We've got new details on what else is game. new? And then, yes, what else? My journey begins. Witcher 3. Mercenary Monster Slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore. At home and on the go. When the <laughs> Witcher 3 Wild Hunt the Witcher 3. comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Assassin's Black. Creed, yeah. Transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion. Oh, okay, we have Assassin's Creed 4. In Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Oh my good, Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. That's it. Open your calendar. Okay, that's it for the mystery the thing, way. but there's still 10 more minutes of... We have more games, we have a...
Just Dance 2020! Just Dance... Grid Auto Sports. Farming Simulator Resident Sleeper! Resident Sleeper! <laughs> Nino Kuni. Ralph the White Wish, uh, that's a little racist there. NBA 2K20. Okay. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that's all for that. Okay, there's more. Call of some whatever. We'll call it whatever. The Outer Worlds. Okay. <laughs> Dante from Devil May Cry. Featuring Dante from Devil May Cry. Vampire or Vampire? Well, it's, it's, vamp it's Vampire. And that's it. Right. How's everything Indie going? stuff. Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing! We revealed yeah. many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Tom! Okay, what's up, Tom Nook? No, we have- we have no- we have not- I have not heard of that. <laughs> it's called Island Life. Why does it sound like a dungle but killing game title? Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For okay, starters, well, where's Isabel? We'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook Phone. Nook Phone? It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's Minecraft should have- Minecraft, take notes! Take notes, Minecraft. They should have a We're phone need some in Minecraft that lets you see all the crafting recipes and everything. Branches. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Craft a flim. You want to craft a flimsy Let's axe? Play. Yeah, flimsy axe is gonna break you in one hit. Use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. Or outside. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fun, Mom. I'm having fun just sitting on this Here bench, just staring at, in, at the screen with a campfire in front we of me. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. Nook Miles. You'll earn miles through a Some... host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. <laughs> Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. You can turn weeds into whatever you want to. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Oh yeah, yeah, does that- Okay, I wish I could just like shovel up a tree that easily, just like island. eating an apple. The scenery changes with the time and weather. 
There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the Good time wind, by the day way. and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Okay, so you have two players. Player. You can have four player co-op basically, or four villagers. Villagers. Together and working together in the same space. With a local maybe the camera, only, maybe the camera like only like stays with player one. Another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. Eight online. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone? <laughs> one that was sleeping. A lasting memory. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. March 20th? Yeah, that, that's nice. But I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake by that point. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Last one? Oh, oh yeah, I almost in the rack. Well... Xenoblade? Z is this Xenoblade? We're having Xenoblade 3. Wait, that's Shulk. Do you wish to change it? Huh? Okay, Shulk. The future. <laughs> the <laughs> Definitive Edition. Oh, it's gonna be remade on Switch. Xenoblade One on Switch. It's gonna be Xenoblade 1 on Nintendo Switch. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on so it's gonna be re So Xenoblade, Xenoblade 1's gonna be re-released on Switch. Oh snap. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Alright, well, maybe we'll watch the Banjo Kazooie demonstration. So, yeah, well, let's watch Banjo Kazooie demonstration. Um, so, yeah, that direct was like something. I mean, nothing too pipe. Nothing was too interesting for me in that direct, but. but Hello, yeah, I guess we'll just watch I'm Sakurai's banjo thing. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's <laughs> there's so many laps over, there. Please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Of <laughs> course. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, 
But back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Oh. Try okay. doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. <laughs> so even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. All right, let's get started. I mean, technically four because so, you know Banjo Kazooie. What is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo <laughs> Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. <laughs> Nuts and Bolts? <laughs> As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Yeah, it does. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Microsoft Brothers let this happen. <laughs> For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Promoting a rival console, lol, Sakurai. But please give the game a try on Xbox. Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. <laughs> Song game goes here. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. Yep, Banjo in the battle. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. Yep. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. Special ROM. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. Like, ooh. For example, the talent trot is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Is there like five jumps or only one? Their neutral attack is called claw swipe. It doesn't do any major knockback. The only third hit does knockback. Build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack wrap. Their dash attack Rat is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. <laughs> DK's move dash attack. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen Kazooie, Harisen yeah? Is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means Bird Bash, which is pretty accurate. Bird Bash. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Their back air is an air rat attack rap, which hits three times. Okay, so their down an aerial air version of rat attack rap, which they okay. use to down stab as they drop. Okay, Big Buster is a down stab. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original games. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. <laughs> now I'd like to go over their special moves. Yeah, nuts and bolts, First, course. their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. Okay, so personally, okay, so, she, so we have a pressure move, the egg fighting one. Regal Blaster. 
Breakle Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. Oh, the FPS thing, yeah. You can hold but now it's side. But now it's not as he has. The power of the eggs it just gradually decreased, so you'll need to be careful. So it's gonna get weaker over time. So you have to like. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield buttons. Next, their side special is Wonder Wave. Oh snap, Wonder Wave! As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Okay, so it goes through projectiles. So it's a way to like. It's a way to like cancel. It's a way to cancel like. If someone camping However, with fireballs, for example, with Mario. Head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you so you can't use it again until you die. Again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their. Heads, so what you could do is you can like pressure them to like keep the Wonder Wing and waste away their uses. So they have to die. Oh, you know. Oh, that's actually something. So you can like you can pressure their edge. You can make them. You can edge guard them. So like, yep. So they force use a Wonder Wing to get back, and you can do this like enough times so they can't recover. Oh, you can grab them. Oh snap! That's. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder. Okay, you can grab him out of it, so... And when oh, snap. Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack, and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. Shock First, Spring Jump? You can hit your opponents with the shock spring okay, you can hit someone with it. So it can be a gimping move. It's like Sonic's up E. It's like Sonic's up It's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. Okay, so you can jump. Okay, you still keep your jump after that. So if you're falling, you can use it like this. Jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. And coupled that with side B, you know. The height of a shock spring jump. <laughs> I have a pink banjo. Note the slight difference in They can hold it to like okay, so it's like heroes on B. Rear egg. They'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. Rear egg, so it's a bomb. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. So that's like kind of like fist sweeping the opponent and then do it to, fight, to fire it at them. Its bouncy trajectory can be So okay, so it can bounce random it can bounce like a weird angle. They can like coming bounce away far, but or not bounce too far. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. I can. Okay, so it's like snakes grenades. Your opponents can also throw it back at you, but its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. Because they have snake grenades. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Lastly, their final smash is the mighty Ginginator. The mighty Ginginator. Oh, it's this the one where, like, you know, the that. Deliver the final blow it's what the video Grunty. Yep, it's the final game. attack against Grunty in the original game. This move will send your opponents flying. Spiral Mountain. Isn't that like the first stage? This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West, it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. Yeah, like the original game. Oh, it could spin? It could spin. Oh, the camera! Oh, look. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage... Yeah, weird. It's a, it's a spinning stage. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. It can be unpredictable recovery. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gluntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Alright, Sakura can be playing. 
This time, I'll be taking on not just one. Oh, we're we'll fighting the team battle. Gonna be fighting Diddy and Donkey Kong, Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too, so I should be fine, right? It's probably. Not. It's a two v. It's a two v one. It's a two v two. It's, it's two v two. Pretty bad. If I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. And you have two two stocks. Two stocks. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Okay. Note we're playing with items on. Wow, that is that up smash? Is that up smash? Doing pretty good so far. Is that up smash or? I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's just the bridge. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. Now. And. Oh. Nice. Hey, you got them both. Got a little Sakurai. Oh no, you only got. You only got Donkey. Did he manage to? Did he manage to block it? Did he manage to avoid it? Okay, so now I just got to take out Diddy. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. And also, Diddy's only at 16%. Is it gonna kill him? And final smash. Is it gonna kill him? I wow, it killed him. Win. Go. Banjo picks up the jiggy from the original game. Jiggy. Go. Go. That's a wrap. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Yeah, but anyway, Grunty's here this she's time. She's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. Doesn't he have two sisters? I thought she has two sisters, not one. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor Bottles. soul. Bottles. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo Tui. Spoilers! He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. Oh, there's Tootie down there. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the details. <laughs> there, there she is. Even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. <laughs> She's yeah. raising havoc on the vessel. Yeah, she just runs around. You can just she just runs around. After that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Buzz Bomb? This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas, so I hope you enjoy it. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country-style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. 
Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that all this of course, more we have a bunch of songs. Deal. So I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time. I like how it takes like 10 seconds to finally say something. Because the translator of the what happened to like translate on the spot. But he did an absolutely wonderful job. Okay, so a non Japanese uh, artist. Here's a list of tracks this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so we got like. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Uh, we don't have Grunty's battle theme in this one from Banjo Kazooie 1. Oh, 5.0! Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. Joker's gonna get nerfed! <laughs> Fair no, fair nerf hero actually. Super Smash Brothers nerf hero. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will another game be mode. Sub mode. Subspace, subspace, please. Play, so please take a look. Come on, please be subspace, man. And here it is. Oh, the home run contest! In front of you as much as possible. And with this bat. It's this, home run contest. But this bat. And off it goes. High. Maybe a little too high. And so, home run contest makes its return. It's Man, I want so space. Compared to previous home run contests, so please enjoy. Thanks. Thanks for this the same mode again, but like lit with literally no thing, nothing new about it. It's like, it's like eh, some cool graphics and all. You can actually play with a second He's blushing. Place. Yeah, there's two player availability in this, so... <laughs> Soccer using two controllers and they're like... He's gonna mess up! Okay, never mind. I thought- I want I wish he like messed up and like... Hit it the wrong way. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> Lol, Sakurai. I hope you play this with your friends. Move custom. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can, they can customize their, cus their specials, specials now. However you want and play as them. However, this will not be applied to new fighters created before. Okay, so only 5.0 onward will be able to be changed, not ones from before. So I hope you re-upload your Mii fighters. So you have to re-up. So you have to re-upload your Mii fighter to allow customiz customization. We will add in some Mii fighter costumes as well. New costumes? Okay, they're gonna be like banjo themed. So we have banjo themed. I don't know how many rounds of Mii Fighters we're gonna have. Oh my god, is this... what is this? Oh, Mystical Ninja. Goemon. Mega Man? What? Oh, we have Proto Man. Oh, Proto Man back. And we're having zero back. Yeah. <laughs> Team Rocket! Team Rocket! What? Sans! Wow, we have Sans! Sand is a me fighter. <laughs> uh.
I am actually so... Oh, oh my god! <laughs> we have Sans in Smash. <laughs> wow, in Smash. Sans in Smash. <laughs> oh my god, my face is red. Oh. Sans in Smash, guys, confirmed! For Sans from Undertale. Who was a popular request? Popular request. <laughs> and this Sans outfit also. <laughs> I just. Music track. Oh my God! Wow. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale. Himself, Toby Fox created. Toby Fox. Oh my God. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate together. Wow! Toby visited Sakurai's house. It was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. I mean, Toby actually played Smith. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. New amiibo, of course. So we got Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> Ibisaur. Squirtle, Ivasaur, and Snake. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. <laughs> he kept kept so you waiting. On September 20th. Alright, so we got the software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Oh yeah, today for I mean, you have the, have the fighter pass. So we're good. I might have to buy a set. Probably doesn't be a second fighter pass. We'll have to buy. Oh yeah. Yep, Terry is going to be in the Nintendo Direct. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's in-game footage! But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? No, it was more like everyone getting screwed over by I not getting that just envelope. A little bit of in game footage of Most funny. Here you go. Okay, you look like Ken. You look like. Okay, you kind of like do stuff. Finally. It was announced that we will be working yeah. with even more Yeah, do you have a deal- wait, do you have a first DLC fighter available for that? To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. Oh, it's slightly further away- oh man, it's supposed wonder, to work. How much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. You- you have like- do you know the first one is for the next the pack? Means that more game worlds will be added to the series. More get Kingdom Hearts, please! Kingdom Hearts! I want Kingdom Hearts! That means that there will be an Come on, dude! Give me Kingdom Hearts! To the fans. See, the only thing I can- the, the only time, time I'll be excited about Smash is Kingdom Hearts, okay? Is Kingdom Hearts is like the last so thing I will- or maybe Final Fantasy VII. That it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters to Yeah, again. I mean, I feel like Ultimate will actually be the last so Smash game. Because, like, uh, Smash game after this will not be this big. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Alright, and that's it. Alright, well... Wow, Sakurai just uh, put Sans and Smash in a way. <laughs> so it would, be, uh, it would be rather, it was pretty funny, you know? It was pretty funny to put Sans and Smash in like the most ironic way, like how Gino got screwed over. Like, it's so funny. Alright, so... Yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for the for this direct. So thank you guys for watching. Well, this direct and the soccer presentation afterwards. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and um, let me know what you guys think of the direct. It was it was, it was all right for me. I mean, I wasn't really I don't I, I had no idea who Terry was of course. Banjo looked 
okay, look kind of look promising. Um, but wow, more fighters coming afterwards. Maybe Sora has a chance. Sora may have a chance after all. We'll see what happens in the in the, in the coming months. So, see you guys next time, guys. Peace. And oh, by the way, uh, before I do, I'm going to be streaming um Banjo Kazooie and Smash um tomorrow probably. So yeah, look forward to that. Unless you're watching this after, then it doesn't matter. But yeah, I'll be streaming Banjo Kazooie and Smash. Like I'll be playing online with some friends and having fun with the character. So, yeah, we look forward to that. I also upload a showcase video playing as Banjo in a couple of games and do classic mode with them. So yeah, look forward to that. All right, see you guys next time. Peace.